Hey, good morning, Masha. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Christine. Well, it's your afternoon, my morning. Yeah, well, you're welcome. And um, I just want to give a little explanation here. I'm Christine um, from Earth Impasse. It's a website, blog, and forum. Um, been doing videos for about three years now, or maybe a little more. Um, I work with a woman named Claudia. Uh, who is the co-founder of the website, and uh, she'll be on the recording shortly. What happened was that um, Masha and I got to know each other uh, through Facebook, and I started um, resonating with the work she was doing, and I wanted to know a little more, so I uh, reached out. And we've had several conversations. Um, uh, wh what we're looking at and what we're going to be talking about, then I'll let you introduce yourself, Masha, is that um, we, people, divine beings on planet Earth, Mother, uh, have been robbed of our inheritance, our divine abundant inheritance. And in looking through all the matrix, all the overlays, everything, looking for a way, a means, a transit where we uh, can support each other. And yeah. that's where I found Masha's work. We, we had several conversations where we went through different terminologies from money to whatever and <clears throat> realized that we were in accord. And I like the word accord because we're in a harmony with each other. So yeah. Masha, I know very little about you. Would you please introduce yourself and your work? Absolutely. Yeah. My name is Masha. I am born in 61. I am the eldest of seven girls, so I have six sisters. I am born in the, uh, the southwest part of the Netherlands. I'm an educated nurse. I didn't know nothing about the corporations and the overlays, etc. Um, in the year 2005, I think, there was a wake up call because I received a mail from a shaman and he wanted to do an earth healing in the Netherlands to um, make it happen that the Netherlands would not overflow by the water coming. And I felt something is not right in this intent because when there is an imbalance on earth, then we need to look to the whole imbalance and not only to the imbalance in the Netherlands. So I started to do earth healings and uh, started to uh, have my own practice, started to support people in finding their inner core being, uh, supporting them to find their um, source power uh, started to massage people, things like that. And in the year 2008, I was on the internet finding the website, The Feminine Touch. Mm -hmm. That's the website of, that was the website of Astrid van Tritt. And there was an immediate recognition. On my website, from the beginning, there was uh, an introduction that it was my heartfelt longing to co-create a worldwide community where the uh, means were um, shared in e equity and equality. And her website, Feminine Touch, the word itself, the name itself, uh, says it all. And she um, was working on this subject also. And together we enclosed the awareness of a free, unburdening living together on Earth. So, yeah. Okay, and, so. And yeah, during, during and for the... 10 years now, sorry. Yeah, so during that process, I'm sure that you started going down many rabbit holes and looking at what is what many call the matrix, which is a false name because yeah. the matrix is actually the mother. Um, Absolutely. You know, so uh, I just call it the control grid. It's yeah. non-gender specific. So mm -hmm. I'm sure you have gone through those pathways also of lifting off your own personal belief systems 
Um, and th and yeah. this is this is where we are now, Masha. And yeah. I, um, in the now moment that you speak of, and we will start the presentation shortly, um, it is the moment of creation. And it is the moment of action uh, within that creation. Yeah. And that's what you're looking for. And so I, I really thank you. Um, myself, I've also explored other possibilities, potentialities based on our core energy with the core energy of the earth and listening deeply yeah. to those impulses. Mm -hmm. um, and to do that, you really mm -hmm. must uh, pierce through your own veils and remove the overlays within your own consciousness. Yeah. Um, and once you have touched yeah. it, and maybe you're not there all the time, but once you have touched it, you know it. And that's what I think many people refer to as knowing. Yeah. You know the difference when you are here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You feel the difference when you are here? This mm -hmm. is your essence, your source, or the overlays in your own psyche. Mm -hmm. And when you realize, I am not here, I am here, then you are back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Masha. Well, I have so enjoyed getting to know you. And I just realized that what we started as a discussion to what we were going to be recording, we ended up recording it. And we needed to have a little intro here. So I will put this on the beginning and we'll get this out soon. Um, yeah. So thank you so much you for everything. Yeah. For all yeah. Okay, spontaneous <laughs> uh, speaking comes out better than something planned. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah, I was saying that uh, existence money, we need to discern existence money from our labor, our life force energy, our labor, our talents. Existence money is needed because direct access to life, to earth, is stolen from us. That's why we need existence money. And we ourselves are the counter value of that money. So nothing outside us is. We ourselves, because we are alive. And we, we cost nothing to society. We cost nothing. Mm -hmm. So we need to discern existence money and payments for our talents our life force energy, our labor, mm -hmm. that are two different things. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I believe we've spoken of this, Masha, and I know it's in the presentation, is that yeah. uh, this is a transitory transition, mm -hmm. uh, what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's not the end all, but it's to start moving the control back to Mother Earth and her us, who are the indigenous be divine beings that inherited this planet as yeah. stewards. And so yeah. when one has that conscious attitude towards life, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we, in a natural setting, wouldn't need money, but because we're not in a natural setting, we're in what you say we were, it was stolen from us. Then what you're speaking of is having starting what you're calling a life circle where we support each other or somehow bring forward the idea that we need money mm -hmm. right now. And it's not based on merit. Mm -hmm. It's not based on talent. It's mm -hmm. not based on uh, working in the labor force, right? It's mm -hmm. basically fundamentally who we are and what yeah. we're worth to life itself. Am I getting that? Yeah, kind of. Um, when we would have direct access to Earth and her resources, resources and each other's talent, we would live in circles. So that is in the presentation. Maybe we uh, should talk about that when we use a presentation, the okay. images along okay. that. Okay. Otherwise, we will repeat ourselves, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, well, this is sort of a, you know, I'm, I'm, it's like a merging of, uh, it's like bringing consciousness into a linear thought form or into a presentation. So it's just coming together where you are. I can share the screen right now and bring the presentation up if you would like me to do that. Yes. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. 
I haven't done this for a while, Claudia. <laughs> oh, I know. I know, I know, I know. Here it is. It's as yeah. if we have nothing to say. Let me see if this is the right one. Da, 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 da. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I created the, those images to make it more visible for people that I am uh, passing on the awareness from a free, unburdening living together. When we have Earth, so we can imagine Earth and her resources and people's talents, when we would have direct access to Earth and her resource, resources and each other's talents, we would live together without any overlay, without any. No written rules, laws, etc. No structures, no organizations as we know them now. And we would live together in overlapping circles. That's the next slide. Okay. Can I ask a question on, yes, of along course. that line? Because this is where I brought in that piece about consciousness, because what's happened. Uh, which was directed and indoctrinated by the hands of a few is that we stopped being stewards we stopped honoring the sacredness of our planet and so those resources that she so freely abundantly gave us were misused misappropriated mm -hmm. and so i would imagine that in that imagination aspect of it i mean we need to know that that's that's how we have to act absolutely because when we look at money the gold back it up money then we are talking about the gold and gold is the blood of the earth so we have stolen the blood of the earth also and the oil and the pipelines and things like that so we are um, abusing earth also mm -hmm. so we are abused but earth herself is abused also yeah mm -hmm. so that awareness is essential also mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. that's what i was trying to say is that and um, we've talked about it is that the consciousness has to reach us let us say a certain vibration or a certain uh understanding of that so that this can be put into effect mm -hmm. okay so oh, um do you want to say anything about this slide or should i go to the next one yeah so uh, this image is about living in circles, overlapping circles. We are part of several groups. And so this image is showing how we live together in overlapping circles directly. So no in-between, no structures, no organizations, just us living together directly and direct, having a direct access to Earth also. Is that clear? It's, it's very clear. I, you know, yeah. I mean, but of course, my, my logical mind that is living on the, this falsely embedded matrix says, how are we going to do that? And I think most people will ask that question. How do we <laughs> do it without structure? Yeah. So I choose to uh, visualize this first because this is an organic living together. And that's not the uh, situation we have, the reality in the here and now. So that's correct. So when we live in, in circus, circles, in overlapping circles, we can uh, have direct exchange, as this image is showing. Direct exchange of products and services. And... Um, among each other, we uh, make an appointment, a mutual appointment, do you say that in English like that? Uh, a bread exchanging for an egg or a bread exchanging for three eggs. We, we decide that among each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh, totally, I mean, the, one of the biggest uh, constructs uh, problems that we do confront here is when the middleman came in, when yeah. the tax agent came in, when uh, 
somebody started hoarding all the eggs or all the bread or all the apples or whatever you would have it and then making a profit off of that. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, when you're looking at this image, I mean, the first thing I think, Moshe, is, well, this is local. You have to do this locally. Um, mm -hmm. And I would think in some cases, people's minds would say, well, this is going to become problematic. Yeah. This, this happens locally, of course. The LETS, the local exchange, uh, LETS, local exchange trading systems, I guess. Mm -hmm. It is called, yeah. So this happens uh, locally. Uh, there are so many uh, platforms also and, and uh, groups who do this locally. So this happens. Mm -hmm. but, uh, people can't uh, pay their rent and etc. So their most of their basic needs are are occupied in money. So they need money for the to access their first needs, most of their first needs, and mostly uh, warmth, rent, shelter, uh, etc. That kind of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me go to the next slide. Yeah. So when we have a medium of exchange, we can have an exchange when uh, I have a bread and you have Oops. meat. And I, oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but I want an apple. Then we can have an exchange when we use a medium of exchange. And the medium of exchange, as we know now, the money as we know now, uh, I'm not talking about that kind of money when I show this image. I'm talking about a medium of exchange that is a simple medium of exchange. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. So, so, so when you say a medium of exchange, like to expand this out a little bit more, I mean, we've gone from shells to coins to fake dollar bills, right? Monopoly money. Um, so how, I, I, I assume you'll get into that a little bit. Uh, what would be that medium of exchange? Yeah, it can, it can uh, also be virtual money numbers. numbers. It doesn't matter. It mm -hmm. can be coupons. It can be coupons. Mm -hmm. uh, um, when you go to the next slide and, and the slides coming, then it becomes more clear, clear I guess. So when we have uh, Earth and our direct uh, living togetherness, and then we see the overlays as we know them in the here now. Uh, so the written rules and laws, the government, the taxing agency, uh, the welfare bureau, all the structures and the corporations are the overlays by which we do not have the direct access to Earth and her resources and uh, each other's talents. So that is the picture below showing that are the overlays. And that's the reality of the here and now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the overlays. So in fact, that what you see uh, in the below are the overlays over, which are laid over our direct living togetherness. Mm -hmm. I just want to add a little something because Claudia and I have done a lot of research on this, uh, uh, even going into the law structure, the context within which we're having our life form right now. And so most people look at that uh, government taxes, income, property taxes, all of that, and they think, well, that's just how that's normal. And so I just want to clarify your word overlay is actually these are impositions and they're illegal. Mm -hmm. Okay, they yeah. were structured illegally to rob the people, which is our lifeblood, which is our life source. I mean, we exactly. use the, the matrix, you know, so I, I don't it's not like they are overlays because you have to move through them by becoming educated what they are, how they were established and why they are there. 
um, for somebody to say, wait a minute, I don't give my consent to that any longer. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. a dual action of, of yeah. It's, it are the written rules and laws which are legal, but unlawful according yeah. natural law. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and I think that's very, very vital. Uh, <clears throat> and I think yeah. more people I hear are really getting it getting to that point that these laws that law-abiding citizens think they're good citizens by obeying them are actually immoral and unlawful mm -hmm. and they're mm -hmm. written by it's a yeah. criminal offense really to pay taxes yes. and yet we are on a daily basis we are absolutely forced because we can't even buy food without having a tax imposed on it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's absolutely not needed we have no. proven that it is yeah. not needed at all so yes it is mm -hmm. unlawful it is legal but unlawful mm -hmm. and it is not necessary at all and uh, so when you uh, perceive the structures and the organizations people are uh, giving their life force and too. So the taxing bureau, people are working in the taxing bureaus, uh, the military, the police. As we know them now, I'm talking about reality in the here now, uh, the welfare uh, bureaus, etc., etc. Uh, when you become aware, you withdraw your energy from those organizations and corporations. People need the, the, the money to have access to their first needs. So in the here and now, it's a bit difficult for people to withdraw themselves from those corporations. But mm -hmm. yeah, I have mm -hmm. done it. So it is possible. Well, to do. I, I think that's why I started the part of the conversation in the record is that it, there is that aspect, that core, and we'll get to that. I know you talk about that that core aspect of my being, I exist, therefore I am, and I am a living, breathing being. And so the closer one gets to that place, you may have to give up a lot of things. Too many yes. cars, too many televisions, the newest clothes, uh, all those little goodies that are doled out to satisfy the ego need. But what you obtain in, in exchange for that is the real knowledge, and this is where I get to, is that what you're calling existence money, and what we're saying is that I'm provided for. I'm worthy because I exist. And so Absolutely. it's somehow some miracle, some unfathomable way that maybe we don't even understand quite yet, you are provided for. And I have other friends that way too, you know, that have had to like trust the universal flow of their existence and somehow they get out they they they're 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 provided for and I, I, I it's it's so vital that we speak about this um because the first thing that comes in to keep anybody from moving out of the taxation or the government programs or any of that is fear how yeah. am i going to get along without money how can I get along without my government? Oh my God, if I don't pay my taxes, are they going mm -hmm. to send the military to my door and kick it in and take everything I own away? You see, so mm -hmm. we're talking on some deep levels here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have written a book, uh, What If Government Dissolves? And in that book is what we need um, in our living togetherness. Uh, even so what we need when we even can think about the idea that we do not have a government what do we need among each other when the government is not ruling our lives so what do we need among each other and we have found that when we have existence money and there is no power over anymore, it will dissolve because existence money will work through all the overlays and dissolve them or they have to transmute in the end and eventually it will all dissolve. So it is a transitional phase indeed, it's not the end. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let me go to the next slide and, and fill yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So this slide says that existence money is the correction. It's not the. Uh, it it doesn't heal the overlays. It doesn't dissolve them. The overlays are still here, but existence money is the correction of the robbery, and will work through all the overlays, and. Um, Eventually, the overlays have to dissolve because of existence money. Mm -hmm. So I want to bring up another point. Like Claudia talked about, I mean, they're like you, Mosh, and like Claudia. We we've, we've all been, let's just say, out in the inner investigation world for a long time, and yeah. there's uh, a lot of people are waiting for. Mm -hmm. the bring down of the cabal and the release of the abundance back to the people. And mm -hmm. some are waiting for the RV and some are waiting for this or they're waiting, you know, and I, I just want to underline the difference between what you're saying and also where I stand is that it's going to come down to we, the people direct to direct contact. I mean, it's, yeah. for, for me, that aspect of, oh, we're waiting for the system to come down and then we'll all be, uh, well, the okay is a false one. It's, it's held out there to keep people from doing what we can do for each other. Yeah. Uh, the truth is, abundance is. We do not need to create nor attract abundance to us because it is. But abundance is in a robbed state. That is the reality of the here and now. So when people do not live in abundance, it's not their fault. We can't say in the reality of the here and now, you do not live in abundance. You do not have a shelter or enough money or things like that. So you are doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. And you need a workshop <laughs> and uh, have some tools to attract money to you, the secret kind of things. But it is not about that. Abundance mm -hmm. is, but it is in a robbed state. So it is a big error to tell people that it's their own fault in the reality of the now, that they do not experience abundance in their life because it is robbed, mm -hmm. because of the overlays. Mm -hmm. yeah, totally. Overlays, the wars, everything, the, yes. the, rape, the rapes. I mean, we could get deep into that. Yeah. So. I mean, uh, that is a vital point, Masha, because we are entrained mentally to think that we do not deserve. If we don't, ha if we are in lack, there is an automatic mind reaction that says that I must be doing something wrong. But that's yeah. in context with the overlays. That's in context with the societal norms. Yeah. That's in context yeah. with the way we've been. We've been. Shortage shortage and mm -hmm. lack is caused on mm -hmm. this earth. Mm -hmm. So when people do experience uh, poverty or a uh, lack of money, it's not their fault. Mm -hmm. it's, and it goes deeper. I mean, our very life blood, our vital energy is being drained away all the time. Yeah, it's, so. it's all about our life force mm -hmm. energy. Yeah. So what you're bringing forward then is uh, some way for us to begin to imagine that every living being on this planet, and we'll speak of the human being right now, um, mm -hmm. is in natural abundance. It's natural. Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. We, we are here on earth bringing our gifts. We are not lack ourselves. We are abundant. <laughs> mm -hmm. We are. But we are robbed in a robbed state. Also, mm -hmm. they are robbing our life force energy. Okay, I'm gonna go to so, the next yeah. slide, okay? Yeah, this is another way of explaining what I uh, uh, visualized before, the former two slides. Here we have Earth and the black hole in the middle the black hole in the middle is the reality of the here now, direct access 
uh, to earth that is stolen from us. And uh, here we see kind of a donut. And in the Netherlands, I do not know if it's uh, out abroad the same thing, but they are talking about a donut economy. And we see the shape of the donuts here. But the donut <coughs> economy is all about um, that what we see, what is Earth. So not, not the dot in the middle, not the black hole. It's all about the overlay still. Yeah. yeah? So what is, what is showed as Earth is the duality, really. It's perceived from duality, the old paradigm, and all solutions within that old paradigm are prolonging the structures and the organizations and the current uh, shit that is caused on Earth. It will not dissolve um, the black hole in the middle. So when we focus on uh, economics and the systems and not on people, we, we are still uh, perceiving our earth and our living togetherness from duality, not from unity. When we perceive our living togetherness from oneness, from unity, we solve or we correct <laughs> the black hole. So, and that's the next slide. Okay. I, I do you have, have a lot. Do you, I know, I have, do you have questions? To, no, I actually have an inverse reality to put with what you're speaking of. Because when I look at this image, I see the black sun. Uh, mm. I see the, uh, the energy force field, okay, mm. that is all providing. So I know you're going to show that in your next slide. But yeah. uh, instead of like... I see. You know, I can imagine that you see it like that because it's right. it's 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 like a Taurus also. Exactly. Huh? So exactly. Yeah, so, but I am using this image uh, <laughs> to explain the I black know. hole well, in the middle. I mean, basically, what you're saying is that through this erroneous overstructure, okay, that's being manipulated, energy is being taken away from living beings. You know, yes, absolutely. Right. And uh, when we focus on economics and systems, then it's still, still the duality. So that are the red arrows. That's why I um, draw them like, like I did. And mm. the black hole is overlooked. So the, the essence... The essence from zero point, you can say zero point also, is overlooked. Mm -hmm. But you're purposely, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course, yeah. So when we put existence money in the black hole, then we have the correction of what is missing on Earth. And the existence money will work through all the overlays that are the white arrows okay. but I want to get into how this is going to be accomplished <laughs> yes so when we look at the reality of the now how banks create money they create money numbers out of nothing on behalf of mortgages and loans which are not loans at all because it is created money out of thin air and creating money out of thin air is not a problem the money creation moment is the problem because why only people who are well already can go to the bank and ask for a mortgage or a loan and I do a loan between how do you call that Quotes. because it are not <laughs> quotes it are not loans so only people who are having well already can go to the bank for a mortgage. Even tons, seven tons even, <laughs> and loans. Mm -hmm. And people who are, ha have, have nothing or have uh, not enough 
are not able to go to the bank and ask for a mortgage. So people who are already well can go to the bank and ask for a mortgage or a loan and people who have nothing can't. So there is a, a huge inequity created costs among people. Um, mm -hmm. So the rich become more rich and the poor become more poor. And it's not a judgment about rich people and poor people. I'm saying this to make this clear what is happening in the here now. Banks create money out of nothing. That's not the problem. The money creation moment is the problem. So we are not vague waiting for the gold back it up money gold belongs to the earth um, it causes a lot of of pain and damage to the earth and people to um to dig mine. for the gold is it to mine, mine the gold, to mine the gold. And, yeah yeah and it is not needed at all mm -hmm. Well, I mean, this is, I, I, I'm going to play with what you're saying right now. Well, there's a couple of things that come to my mind and people understand about banks and they understand that we're not talking about your local bank that was set up to help the community 50, 100 years ago. We are talking about, uh, we can call it the cabal, the banksters. This is an international criminal organization. Absolutely. Okay. That is creating money for their own benefit at human beings expense. This is the robbery. Yes. This is the, this is the basis of the robbery. You know, yeah. and I won't go into some of the other things right now that would take away from this. So basically what we're saying and you know even cryptocurrency which I'll just sit, throw out here for a second um, it in itself is not clean money. I mean yes it was created okay out of nothing and people agreed to value most people dealing with cryptos are doing it to accumulate ma massive amounts of wealth. Exactly. The, other, the other problem with cryptocurrencies is the massive amount of energy it takes to mine Bitcoin. Absolutely. So yeah. it's not clean money. So you're talking mm -hmm. about something else. Just to yeah. put that clear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. This slide is to uh, show how banks work and I'm no, not going in depth in how banks work because no. I think many people already know how many don't. money is created no so many don't masha that's really the oh, shocker okay. for me people don't understand how money is created they actually think okay. that um, so I'm, should we say something about that because well i mean now, money is a product it's a product it's uh, and it's and under it's, usury which is that any money that you take from a bank you are being charged an interest on that yes. interest that you have to pay back to the bank they can lend out well, they say 10 times, I would believe it's many times more. They balance digital numbers on a screen. There's nothing real there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, I, I just think that people really need to, to do their own investigation. You know? It's our numbers in a spreadsheet. Yes. And that, that uh, in itself is not a problem because I'm saying it, uh, I said it already, creating money out of nothing is not a problem because money doesn't uh, grow on on trees or something like that so that in itself is not a problem but money creation moment is the problem and um, they are creating money in debt and also when money is created in credit people need to pay it back and that's the that is one of the problems and the mm -hmm. other problem is that only those who are already well can go to the bank for mortgage and a loan and those who are not well at all can't mm -hmm. so that's creating causing the inequity among people not to mention that those that create the money which is a handful of individuals on the planet have the majority yeah. of the manipulation of the control so People think yeah. the economy is a natural phenomena. In a natural world, it is. But it's not in a natural world any longer. So, I mean, no. this is where we, you, I, Claudia, uh, others, um, start to imagine a way out of this. Yeah. 
exactly. So when we look at this slide, it becomes uh, visible and hopefully people can feel it also that we ourselves are the counter, counter value of money. Not silver, not gold, not salt, not stock, uh, nothing. Nothing outside of us is the counter value of money. And I put money between quotes also because now I'm talking about uh, the transmuted money. So that's something different than the banks are creating in the here and now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we ourselves are the counter value of money, existence money, uh, I'm talking about now. And uh, because we bring that money numbers to the existence economy. So that's on the one of the next slides, I guess. Yeah. So existence money, you could say existence value also. Thank you, Christine, because you came up with that. <laughs> existence value, another word for money. And I think first it's needed to talk about money, economics and banks, etc. because people know those concepts. When we use other words, they can't relate to that. But also people have use huge loads on money and etc. So first it's important to talk to use the, the uh, words we uh, all know, but then we can when we understand, when we have awareness about this, then we can use other words and existence value is a wonderful world word, I think. And uh, an adult would have economical value of 1,000, 1,500, it depends on where you live on this earth. Um, and a child would have um, 250, 300 or 200, 250. So when we look at a family, two adults and two children, uh, then you see that the amount um, they should receive as existence money is more than enough to get their basic needs met. And it's all about that. The correction of the fact that the direct ac access to earth, her resources and each other's uh, talents are robbed from us. So still talking mm -hmm. about the so, correction. So what you're speaking of is that through whatever means that we can come up to, that we create money, we give it the value on it, okay? Mm -hmm. We can exchange it, and we give a family, a human being, somewhere on, anywhere on the planet, everywhere on the planet, that existence value. So Absolutely. If, right, so if you're living, yeah, I'm living in Mexico, and so therefore, whatever that would be determined, what I need to have a roof over my head and food in my stomach and not have to worry every day about my existence. Exactly. When okay. we look at abundance, it means there is enough for everyone's need, mm -hmm. but not enough for people's greed. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. abundance would, would means we, we have enough numbers to get our basic needs met in the reality of the here and now. So... Mm -hmm. When the overlays are dissolved, we do not need, we are not in need of existence money anymore. Then existence money has done her work. They are creating money on behalf of mortgages and loans. And the right money creation moment is our own existence, mm -hmm. our own free existence, money or value. It depends on how you want to call it. How does this get implemented? And I mean, it's going to take some serious education and some uh, serious understanding, deep comprehension, I would say, of what you're speaking about. So here we see uh, the zero point. 
And when we uh, perceive Earth and our living togetherness from zero point, we can see what is needed in the here and now to correct the inequity that is caused on Earth. Um, so it's, it looks like this slide is about money, but it's all about our free living togetherness. Are you getting that, Christine? Yeah. Because so many, because the, the word, yeah? No, no yes, I, of course I do. But I, I'm actually thinking right now uh, along the lines of really what it takes is us, the larger us, is creating that form, which we call money right now, and distributing it outside of the system. Yeah, the, the reality is that we need uh, euro, dollar, uh, pounds, etc., to get our basic needs met. So we had a facilitation platform, it was called Equiplace, mm -hmm. like a money place, and we could create our own existence money, Equi, we called it. So it looks, it looks as if this image is about money, but it is not. It is all about our free living togetherness. The transition is not about money, but goes via money. And so many people do not get that because uh, people want to uh, get rid of money. But when you want to get rid of money, you haven't understood it also because we need to correct the inequity and we live in the reality of the here and now and access to our first needs is occupied in money so in the here and now we need money to get our first needs met that's why we need money in the here and now and most of us need money in the here and now some don't <laughs> but most of us need uh, bunny numbers in the here and now, and then I am talking about euro, US dollar, pounds, etc. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so the correction is uh, existence failure, existence money, existence money is existence failure, that's the same. And to correct the inequity that is uh, caused on earth, we should have a uh, money creation of one ton for all humans, for all humans. Question. Okay, one yeah. ton. What does that mean, one ton? One ton money creation. Yeah, so, I don't know. I, what does the one, one ton? One ton? Oh, uh, uh, one and one, two, five zeros. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> in English it's a weight. So I'm like... <laughs> How do you call it? It's a one ton is a weight yeah. equal 12,000 okay. pounds. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> I should have written that, I think. Okay. Okay. So, I got it. So it's a, I number. Can, it's a number. Yeah. It's a number. It's a number. Okay. It's a number. Yeah. Okay. And then that would not uh, be enough. We can do it again because mm -hmm. it costs nothing to create money numbers in a spreadsheet. Yeah, so the life impulses, uh, I have uh, um, written that on the slide also. The monthly existence money, the only money creation moment, the immediate stop of evictions. That's, oh no, that's not an error. Immediate stop creating money on behalf of mortgages and loans and one ton money creation for all humanity as rectification of the past. Mm -hmm. So the inequity that is caused among people, a group of people could create money numbers for themselves on behalf of a mortgage and the loan and another group of people couldn't. So we must correct that also. We're talking about a vast spread of, of uh, financial well-being on the planet from uh, poverty-stricken, war-strewn countries to the ultra-rich. So 
is this for every single being? And what does that mean for those that have these huge holdings in the outward structure? Yeah, okay, let me just, you know, use a, a, a name it. Okay, we have like a Donald Trump, okay? We yeah. have somebody that has more billions than he could ever possibly spend and he's hoarding money all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when we're talking about coming to, uh, what are those beings? How are they looked upon within what you're talking about? Do they yeah. get existence money also? Yeah, they get it also. And people okay. who are in prison, they get it also. Right. There is no there is no division amongst people. Mm -hmm. And that can be uh, somewhat hard to digest, of course, because we know those are criminals. But we need to realize that it doesn't take anything away from us when a criminal get existence money also so it is not taking away something from us and in the reality of the now the overlays and the structures and the organizations mm -hmm. and the bank structures etc it is it is taking away things of us it's robbing our life force well actually energy. it's actually it's a system and you know the uh, labor force of prisoners i mean these are privately owned prisons right and people are imprisoned um to keep them locked up in a labor force i have no problem with that masha but it does take down breaking apart uh, some of the mental structures social engineered structures in our mind uh, and, and again, I'll just keep saying, people need to do their own research mm -hmm. because until you have a full view of how this matrix context construct was created and for what purpose it was created, uh, these concepts are hard for some people, Masha, that's all I'm saying. I, I think it'll be a vast learning process for everyone, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not, just, not just for what is now known as the elite, not just the poor people. It's basically, I think the top priority would be to get rid of the thought of reward and punishment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just because yeah. someone is in the elite yeah. and has Good known point. nothing but to hoard possessions. Mm -hmm. We are mm -hmm. all humans who live on this planet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and somebody will ha in order for things to change at all somebody has to make a start to leave behind that system and what better start to recognize everyone mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. equal because yeah. we were all born equal how someone became that criminal Mm -hmm. uh, what's happened to them um, so yeah we, we, it's, it's about forgiveness it's yes, about uh, yeah, letting exactly. it's mm -hmm. about letting go of uh, judge, judgmental being mm -hmm. judgmental also and I'm not saying that those who have committed crimes should not um, yeah, be punished but it's difficult uh, punishment. When, when we look at uh, Iris Brehan law, I guess it's called. Are you familiar with that, Claudia? Iris mm -hmm. Brehan law, that's kind of natural law. Uh, and people lived in, in groups. And when someone went astray, uh, they all came together and there were a circle of wise men and women and they talked about it and um, so it was not so much about punishment but about getting the chance to correct themselves yes correction mm -hmm. rather than punishment mm -hmm. I'm yeah totally behind that mm -hmm. yeah I think we can um, just go even, I'll go a little deeper here, when we're talking about a psychopath or somebody who is what we would call evil or, or a lost cause in a way. Um, punishment is the wrong approach to begin with. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Because I know experientially and also in working with other people that when 
a field is flooded with care and love and compassion. Mm -hmm. You see, the problem is on the planet, there's not enough of that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that being that's holding um, that malicious intent suffers. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Because yeah. it has to start to recognize itself. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it will usually take itself away or it will start a regenerative process. But that's not some overlordly authoritarian police force that's invoking punishment. It's a very different dynamic. Mm, absolutely, yeah. When you, when you know yourself and you truly love yourself and you have the true awareness, you are, love is pouring out of you, then that's the true awareness, I guess, the true love, then you do not feel the need to manipulate, to power over, mm -hmm. to all those things. Okay, so you uh, ask yourself how to uh, apply existence money. How do we get it into existence? Um, and the facilitation can uh, be done on three layers through the government. And now I have quoted the word government because when uh, facilitation of existence money and the other life uh, impulses would uh, be done through the government, there would not be a government anymore. They would have transmuted into facilitation bureaus. Uh, but they have the, the possibility to order their, their state bank, for example, to uh, implement the one programming rule. And one programming rule uh, means that with only one programming rule in a banking application, every human on earth can receive their existence money. It is as, as simple as that. It costs nothing. It's only one programming rule um, by which every human receives their existence money. So the government can uh, facilitate with the government refuse, which they do to today. The banks could uh, facilitate also, but they are refusing also. And when we know the structure it's, it's clear, of course, because the governments are even ruled by the banks. So it, it's, it's clear that they will not facilitate this. And people must get this because this is essential. When they trust on their government, they must, um, it, it must become clear that their government is not protecting them not our living togetherness the government is protecting the systems and the structures and the banks and the banks are the they are the huge control system as long as you vote as long as you trust on your government you are lost make it clear to to the government that you want change and how you do want the change but in the reality of the here now, there is no facilitation on the layer of the government, no facilitation on the layer of the banks. Mm -hmm. We can do it among each other. And yeah. that uh, works through the life circles. So here comes the life. Uh, via the life circle, we contribute money to our fellow humans. And with money, I mean Euro, US dollar, pounds because our fellow humans need that kind of money to get their basic needs met yeah but it must absolutely be, be clear and become clear and that's about awareness and consciousness indeed christine um that's the the government and the banks are the controlling systems and are not facilitating us are not protecting us police the military are not protecting us they are all protecting the systems the system, and yeah. the structures yes, mm -hmm. yes. Which I think more and more people are wisening up to that yeah. at least right which is again claudia again uh, i think more and more people are wisening up to that yeah finally mm -hmm. yeah 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 and but I they feel that people 
uh, who became aware feel stuck because they mm -hmm. do not know what what now we we see it we we see what is the issue but what now the uh, the answer is given and the answer is not a solution in the sense we we know it from the old paradigm the answer is a choice and the choice we can make must make ourselves <laughs> mm -hmm. and we can refuse to make that choice also mm -hmm. choice comes from the inner impulse in our heartfelt longing the, the 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 inner core heartfelt longing to normally live together on earth and let life flow in its own context and when you realize that then you choose to contribute to the free existence of your fellow human otherwise you will not because yeah you you would think I think what it made no sense. I think what you're saying, Masha, you know, I know what you're saying, and I, um, is that this next step, um, many, many people hold consciousness and they do even understand within the reality, the real reality. You see, it's like, it, it's, it's, it's a combination to me of seeing what's all wrong and what's not working and then making a conscious choice towards something that we innately know which is everything is connected and uh it, but it takes breaking down a lot of programs the internal ones mm -hmm. also exactly yeah mm -hmm. because we our psyche is so used to that old patterns and that old paradigm that the indoctrination is in ourselves in people's self mm -hmm. so we could complain about the government which is valid we could complain about the banks which is valid also etc etc but it's all on our own plate right now because mm -hmm. the answer is given is given for years already but maybe now is the time and this year will be the turning point when more people get it and that would be wonderful uh, free existence, uh, money, our own value, cost nothing. We cost nothing. It costs nothing to create the money numbers in a spreadsheet. It's nothing more than that. It's only one programming rule in a facilitation platform. We couldn't speak about banks anymore when there is a facilitation platform. It would be a place instead of a bank. Um, I made this slide to make it uh, more clear that free existence is uh, not the the uh, payment for your for your labor. So time is money. Yes, that's true. Time is your life force energy. So we need to discern existence money from your labor and time. So when you invest your uh, labor uh, in whatever your talent you can get paid for that. That's not a problem mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. So the, bake, the baker, the baker would get his, his or her own free existence money and get paid for baking bread. And mm -hmm. your existence money is enough to get your basic needs met. So when you want to go to the baker, you have your existence money and you can pay the baker etc mm -hmm. so uh, yeah, i would just underline what you're saying and bring that forward into a speaking way is that when a human being is freed from the debt system in other words i have to work for my money so i can exist yeah. is that human creativity and this has been shown time and time and time again is that human creativity therefore can manifest itself because Absolutely. you have more energy. So all the solutions and to our ongoing problems on the planet, all that energy would be freed up. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we yeah. wouldn't That's have... That's huge. It's huge. And we wouldn't have yeah. that ideology or that system that tells us um, 
let's see, making an automobile is more important than creating a piece of art, as an example. Mm -hmm. So um, the free, it would, now we're really getting into what is free energy, freeing yeah. our energy. We are free energy. Yes. We ourselves yes, are free exactly. energy. Yeah. yeah. The um, human capacity for uh, creating, uh, creating is phenomenal. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in the reality of the human now, we cannot create an apple. I can't. No. <laughs> I have uh, my trees in my garden, but I cannot create an apple myself. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we need to discern that also. But free energy, yeah, we are free energy. So I was talking about the non-banking facilitation platform already, and it costs nothing to implement a kind of platform. Of course, it needs some some uh, investment or some someone's um, labor to create a platform like that. We had created one. That one uh, was called Equiplace, Aka Money Place, and we needed to dissolve it because we didn't get her affiliation affiliated with the Euro world. So, like I told already, we could create our own existence money but that was not euro of course because we can't do that ourselves the banks only can do that so we could create equi which is the equivalent so that that's the equi equivalent of our existence money our uh, existence value so we could create our own existence money but people need euro us dollar to to get their basic needs met so we had we had that exchange people could buy euro or us dollar and get paid for that with with the acre but that time people didn't get it so when when we create another platform in the here and now i would love to have one as a try out surrounding for people to get a feeling what it is a non-banking facilitation platform and via that platform the life circle can be uh, facilitated also so it can all be transparent we must realize it in the here and now in the reality of the here and now people need euro us dollar etc to get their basic needs met Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, let me just, you know, go back to cryptocurrency for a second here. Yeah. Um, Bitcoin, when it first came out, wasn't accepted by banks. See, this is the this is the crux of the matter for me, is that when people saw they could make a killing on it, right, and make a lot of money, um, then it became valued, right? Mm -hmm. So you're talking about creating a currency that can be traded for dollars, pesos, euros, yung, or whatever. Um, but we would need a collective consensus, if you will, that we agree to this and some means to exchange it. Yeah. When, when Equiplace uh, was here, people could pay me my services with Equi. Mm -hmm. um, so I offered my services uh, for Equi. But I need some, not, not much, but I need some euros too, of course, to get my basic needs met. That's one. So I need I needed euros, so I, so I could not offer all my uh, services for Acre. And the other thing was, and that is the most important thing, people asked me, Masha, I can pay you with Acre, right? Yes, you can pay with me with agri so then i have euros to go on a vacation but it is not that then you do not use the free unburdening currency uh on behalf of an organic living togetherness but you use that currency to have more euro to go on a vacation or uh, whatever, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you see? So that, that was another thing that right. time. There, so, there was a town, a county in California somewhere that the, they all got together, a small place, and they created their own currency. 
and the whole town traded in it, right? Mm -hmm. So therefore they have completely bypassed the banks and the mm -hmm. current monetary system. And in some way, I think that would be the place would, would ideally get to is mm -hmm. that an, enough said, oh, I'll trade in equi or whatever you want to call it. And mm -hmm. yeah, but that's going to take some time. <laughs> yeah. Well, and so here is they put a stop to it immediately. I know there was a, um, a place in Austria, which I think happened just, I think it was after the, the alleged end of the world war that they started their own currency and it was all basically quashed completely within mm -hmm. a few months. You know, yeah. the system stopped in and said, no, you're not allowed to do that. If you continue, you're going to end up in jail. Yeah, there are uh, some layers in here. People in the Netherlands are trying to get a Deposito Bank implemented. Mm -hmm. And the Deposito Bank is nothing more than a place where your money sits. So your euro, US dollar, uh, pounds, it's not, a, it's not the bank, really. Mm -hmm. It's only a place where your money sits. But the government doesn't give approval for a place like that. And we can imagine why, of course. Mm -hmm. And all banks are tied together they are using mm -hmm. one gate for all payments so even paypal there is a bank behind mm -hmm. the eng bank is behind paypal and they all use one gate for all the payments all over the world we can create a facilitation platform it doesn't a license to do so because mm -hmm. it's not dealing with money so we can we can do that and then it's kind of a let's etc could use that that uh pure unburdening uh currency it is a threat to the establishment of mm -hmm. course but when people become more and more and more aware um they they can come together and mm -hmm. um because when, when only one town does this, then we have, then that town can, can uh, have a problem. But when more and more people understand this and more and yeah. more people are behind this and refusing to feed the old structures and the old systems, then we can build the new, the new paradigm. And the new paradigm isn't unfolding in the here and now because so many people are still feeding the old and the old can we can leave the old in the sense that we can co-create the new mm -hmm. when we make life-giving choices and the old is still there uh, here comes the life circles in because suppose i would get my uh, existence money i don't get it <laughs> i only get Elf, 11, 11 euro on a monthly basis. So I don't get my uh, existence money. But suppose that I would get it and there would be a facilitation platform by which I could create my own existence money. Then I could offer my services again for that freely available uh currency and i would only do that i would only offer my services for that currency to people who are contributing to the free existence money of their fellow humans are you mm -hmm. getting me and so then we can build it together <laughs> yes. it's abundantly clear <laughs> right <laughs> I, I, you know so it's that's like, wonderful <laughs> so where we're moving, what we're speaking to, um, is coming through you, Masha, right now. And, and I've had many, many years to, to contemplate this and to imagine it. And I think that's the first key for people is to see mm -hmm. the possibility. And, right. and then they can start to move that direction. So I know from our conversations that... Um, perhaps in the near future we can start something 
and yeah. we can freely and joyfully experiment. Yeah, that would yeah. be wonderful. And then it would become more, is that tangible? Is that, mm -hmm. is that the right word? It would be, people can, can feel it. People can see it, observe it. Now it's, so that's why I created those images because then it becomes more visible, hopefully for people. But when we make it more applicable, so when we could create a life circle for someone mm -hmm. and we, we apply the life circle for only someone, when only someone is freed from the financial tyranny, that would be such a great example because that one can communicate from the new paradigm from the new experience. Mm -hmm. People need a new experience, but the new experience isn't unfolding. So when only one, one human being would receive her of his existence money, that would be huge. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I feel like um, the, the next time we get together, we'd actually like to invite some other um, beings, souls, to join us in this conversation. And, um, you know, it's interesting when you say that because in some very real way manifested in my life, I have existence money and it comes oddly, or I, not oddly, it comes beautifully from my own mother. You see, I mean, it's, there's, One, a, th that's there's a metaphor there, right? Uh, and so, that has allowed me to free up my time to live in natural flow to have a roof and the security of a roof and food and be able to use my own energy more creatively and yeah. i don't put it out there in any great way at all at all yeah. but it's that we can start to facilitate that for another and like you say one by one and, one by one, yeah. And we do know that energy moves exponentially when the right moment comes and the right energy behind it. Mm -hmm. Then we uh, will see an exponential change. We're seeing it right now. Okay, yeah. we're just seeing it on the other front right now with the system. Yeah, is you invited me to on this talk and having this conversation and. Uh, the opportunity to show this presentation, those images, mm -hmm. is wonderful and huge. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. yeah, something is happening. So Yeah, it is. And, you know, we were saying, you know, like we've been talking about this for uh, maybe a month or so now. And it's like, yeah. it's, it's flow, universal mm -hmm. energy, life flow has its own timing. So the universe mm -hmm. and when we trust, and I wanted to use that word earlier, when we trust the universal flows, when we trust natural law, when we trust abundance, okay, this is the, the leap that we each individually have to move through, then we open up the unknown, the unimagined, the potentialities. And I, I, I feel like this is happening in many, many yeah. uh, levels is, at the moment. Yeah, the, what your your uh, what you are saying about you are receiving your existence mother uh, existence money through your mother, that's so wonderful because then you have that experience, and some other people have the experience also, of course, uh, when you have a family and uh, the man is working for the mother and the children, they would have their existence money also, of course, and people who are on welfare are receiving it also, but this in a horrible, in a horrible conditional way. So mm -hmm. you, you receive it unconditionally. Exactly. That's and that's the difference because there's not, uh, there, I mean, there's always, uh, threads and fragments and things from the human psyche that I can feel sometimes like you know it's like but for the most part it's given freely with no expectation mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. I have to be conscious of my return my own reciprocity to that mm -hmm. generosity that's all 
you know, I'm not expected to go out and get the right job or get a degree or get married. Or, and most social conventions, uh, like marriage, um, inherent within them is an expectation. And what we're talking about is getting free from those expectations. And I think that's a very vital uh, point in our human consciousness you right now. get it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. So um, I'm going to end our recording right now. Yeah. And, um, and we can just keep <laughs> chatting. And by the way, I think we did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>